I just finished the first season of The Bear. I was watching on the second one. I was I was inconsolably crying. I heard it was shit. I was crying. Did Bear. you watch it? No, I can't do it because that whole show is just them at work being angry at each other, and like it just does not. <laughs> yeah, relax well, me got, at all. It, it, you live it every day. <laughs> it got Welcome to Out and About, everyone. Happy Wednesday. We're back. We had a hell of a weekend. We have a third co-host here today. Miss? Do you have anything to say for yourself? This is Goose, the world famous Goose. He's been in the office all morning. If you're listening on uh, Apple or Spotify, make sure to tune into YouTube. He's hitting his wits end here because he's been very overstimulated with everyone petting him. He did meet his abuela. Uh, are you going by abuela or tia? Tia. Tweet tia. Tia, okay. Yeah. Now you actually brought in a, brought in a raw a raw cowhide for him to chew, but you had actually yeah. broken it in prior I, I, to yeah, prior. Yeah, it was a pig ear. It was a pig ear I got <laughs> this weekend that I like to use when I but I get stressed. Yeah, you chew that down. Oh, um, oh, oh. There's gonna be a lot of this just throughout the show. Oh, oh, bye. And then you're and then you're listening. No one's gonna know what's gonna happen. Well, goose, if you're listening to this, goose is a mangy <laughs> mutt from <laughs> God knows what neighborhood you got him in. <laughs> from around the way. Yeah. From, from down the street. I'm afraid he's going to shit. He took a poop this morning and I had to literally pull. I was like, why is he just walking? Yeah. Like this? I had to have the thing on. I've never picked up shit in my life. I should have left it there on 7th Avenue. I had to pull the poop out of the back of his butt. He probably has worms. <laughs> you had to pull it Don't out of its ass? Don't be mean to goose. Yeah, because he had a little dangly thing hanging there. Oh, that sucks. So Ooh. he's freaking out a little bit today, but we're happy to have him. Joey, what did you say? You thought that was actually Sandra when you came in. Well, I thought that her jaw finally you know, settled in and this is her new look, <laughs> but it wasn't. It wasn't. So we're very happy to have Goosey here today. Maybe we'll try and put some wigs on him in a little bit, but he's getting a little bit wound up. Will he go into yeah. the chair? No. Nope. Go he's, back to your chair. He's got a squirrel and he's going right down by Tia, by Abuela. By Auntie, Auntie uh, Tia Joey. By Tia Joey. <laughs> Tia Tia Joe. <laughs> go right by Tia Tia Joe. Um, all right. I'm going to stop talking about Goose until he does something else. You were at- Beyonce with your best friend Silvana. Yes, last how night. was that? You know, it was it was a um, a journey. Okay, both emotionally and physically. Talk to me. No, it was great. We were invited by Chart. Um, thank you, Mo, Maureen. You know who you are, girl, for inviting <laughs> us. Just, you know, I, I thank God she was there because, like, when I got there. It was like, I remember seeing that they know we knew each other from prior trips and things. And I was literally the, I could, I like all the, all the kids there could I add another age up and they still wouldn't even add it up to how old I was. It's like, Did they were literally five old? years old. I didn't, I, I was in disguise and I told everyone, um, I was in, I'm in an ageist drag, yags. They didn't know that I was uh, their elder. Now, what did you do to, <laughs> to lower your age physically? Because I know you've been known to put on a beat, but you did something I a little more extreme. I put on tart, radiant, creamy concealer. Okay, talk to them. That's free ad number one on the chart. <laughs> <laughs> I use that. Um, no, but it's just, you know, my, my exuberant personality. So they didn't know. Um, and I had, to, I had to come out and tell everyone that I had Benjamin Button syndrome. And I was diagnosed <laughs> at a very old age. Um, and I'm some aging in reverse. Um, but you know, it was it was a lot of fun. But we got a party bus. There was like hot, lots of drinks. Those. Now, I I I will complain a little bit. I mean, you know, it wouldn't be a full story if I didn't complain a little bit. Well, what was there, wrong? Well, what was wrong was the no, the, the, the drinks were there. They had a cooler full of things. A very nice gentleman brought the big cooler full of everything you can imagine. We had high noons up the ass. We had mamitas. We had um, vuv cacao, but like tons of bottles of vuv cacao. We had um, Wolford Estate rosés. We had. Um, everything, vodka, vodka, tequila, limes, lemons, ice. The problem was none of the drinks were pre-chilled. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. That's going to be an issue. If I know one thing about Nana, that's going to yeah. be an issue. No. I, mean, I, I know if there was no ice, that'd be like even worse, but it's like, you know, things weren't pre, things weren't pre-chilled. So like we had to like wait for things to get chilled or serve it Ew. on ice. And the ice and the cups were like, it was very cute cups, but they were like diamond shaped, like little like thermos looking things. And they yeah. would fit like one shot of alcohol in them. So you only could have, oh, so you couldn't even have a, you couldn't have a double tequila? I could, but I had to find the right cup. It was just, I just wish that, I just wish the, the canned cocktails were chilled, but then they got chilled and they were fine. <laughs> but we got going, we were listening to music on the bus, um, went to MetLife Stadium for Bay. Um, they had yeah. a beautiful suite. We got there. Um, they had, the suite was really cute and they had like a you no know, section to sit in outside. Um, great Are food. the suites nice? Cause like that stadium stinks. Um, they're not the nicest. I mean, I think okay. Yankee Stadium has yeah. nicer ones. Yeah. Yankee Stadium's awesome. I hate MetLife. I hate yeah. going there. I didn't mind it. Met life when I went, but I mean it's not the it's not the, it's not the most luxurious suite. They're smaller yeah. suites. Um, not something not, not something I'm used to. Right. <laughs> did, you, did you and Sills blade in together? No, we're we're blading back today. Back to the, back to Montauk. No, you're so you're living there. Not living there, but I'm just saying. No, we did agree though. Oh God, agree on what? Well, Dave has been vocal that he doesn't want me on his properties. 
And okay. Sills, Even, ha- Sills and I have different a different opinion. <laughs> he goes, Sills when the, when, the, is- when the cat's away, the the queens will play. <laughs> <laughs> I just have to sleep in a tent outside. <laughs> <laughs> you and Goose will be in a crate outside. Yeah. <laughs> There's no way how, that would be a really ballsy move. No, but I, if she, she said no, and then you shut up. You go, well, you weren't here. What's the issue? Well, no, she she fell right into Nana's trap. She was like, she, like she was oh, laughing. So my cheeks are hurting so bad because I'm laughing so hard. I said, well, now you know. That's when you asked for, for zero, right? Yeah, <laughs> right at the end. No, um, she, what, a, what a fun girl. She's such yeah. so fun. She's like so uh, easy to get along with and just so fun and down for whatever. Uh, Beyonce was fabulous. Um, I said, I tweeted famously, our ex actually changed yesterday. Now it's X. How do you say, now what are we saying? I X'd? This? I think it still it's is tweet. Tweet is the word, but yeah. It's just X is the symbol, right? Yeah. It's so yeah. weird. Like, it looks on, like a porn symbol. Yeah, on, de- on yeah. desktop, like it scares the shit out of me like daily because I'm like, oh, fuck, what did I leave up? Like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I um I tweeted yesterday and I quote, Beyonce is a f- hashtag work bitch <laughs> <laughs> because she like like it turned into a full drag show. She was she was doing Did runway. You really tweet that? Yeah, she was doing runway down the thing. That she had Vogue queens coming out of everywhere. They're yes. death dropping for their lives. Legacy. It was like old old, old like drag house beats. It was uh, Kevin Aviance. It was like it was everything. And it's important to note that you're allowed to say that on Twitter um, because it is not a liberal run site. Okay? Yeah, and you, you want know, freedom of well, speech. If I, if I see, Elon will if I could see someone's asshole on Twitter for everyone yeah. to see in the main feed, I can say. You can. We're allowed to. We're allowed so, to. So, um, but the concert was fabulous. The Blue Ivy came out. She performed. That's. Do you think that's like? Is she good? She's not her. She ain't her mom. She's not. No, she's not. A, I think she has a different style. She has a more of like a chill, like, like this kind of vibe. Which, one more time for it's me. It's like like. Mm-hmm. Where Beyonce is more. Uh, she's only yeah. like eleven, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm as excited for her um her quinceanera so she can finally get that nose job. <laughs> Well, she doesn't live on Long Island. Where, oh. where is she? Where is she out in uh, California? <laughs> yeah. she, why, why is she working? You're, if you're 11 years old, she was working. Oh, it. it's fun. Oh, she, okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. And everyone has to say every time she left Come the stage, here. we had to say, and the group had the whole. She made the whole stadium say, Relax. "Thank you, Miss Carter." <laughs> That's what we had to say to her. Good boy. Uh, but what a cool concert. She um. The visuals, she's just so naturally beautiful. And what I liked about this, and I know that if everyone saw the concert, the thing that she did when she came out, she said one simple thing that made it like set the tone for the whole concert. Can you turn that off, Sandra? <laughs> oh, it's actually me. Oh. Kevin Clancy. <gasps> I'm not going on that show today. I have somewhere to be. Wait. He always comes at last minute. Kevin Clancy? What does he want? Airport anxiety is a real thing between constantly checking my pockets for my ID or forgetting my gate number. Even though I just looked at my boarding pack, I'm stressed. I'm always stressed in the airport. That's a guarantee. But when you travel with base, your bag has the function and fashion to keep you calm, carefree, and most importantly, looking cute. That's right. Base was created by actress Shay Mitchell to make sleek, affordable bags, luggage, and accessories designed to help you travel effortlessly while still looking fashionable. And base is thought of everything you can want in a piece of luggage. 360 degree wheels, uh, gliding wheels, a cushion handle, built-in weight indicator, washable bags for your dirty clothes, and all the interior pockets you need to keep organized. Their luggage comes in multiple sizes and colors, and for the shorter trips, the Weekender bag, which they actually sent me, I absolutely love it. It's super functional, and it has a place to store your shoes separately underneath, so you're able to put your shoes in. If you're walking around, you don't want to mix in dirty shoes with your clean clothes. Yeah. Base has got it figured out, and whether you're packing for a quick trip or looking to breeze through a security line, uh, Base has all of your personal items covered. So right now, Base is offering our listeners 15% off your first purchase by visiting basetravel.com slash about. Go to basetravel.com slash about for 15% off your first purchase. That's base travel, B-E-I-S, travel.com slash about. So anyway, so she, she set the tone with one simple word to set the tone for the entire concert. She walked in, she said, simply she looked at everyone. MAGA? Said, no, she said, hello. <laughs> she said, she says, hello, everyone. Hello. And it was like, she tried, she, she had this like vibe with her. It was almost like it was an intimate setting. She made every person in the room feel like seen and heard and like there. And it, was, it felt like she was doing like a small, like, like jazzy living club, room concert, living yeah. concert downtown. That's how she was, how she was talking to this, uh, the audience and how she was like interacting and looking at the camera and like, and like doing it, whatever she did set the tone to make everyone feel like they are comfortable and like, she's like we're all on the same level. And I think that's why the concert was so good. I think she's would be an alt. That's like a bucket list concert. Beyonce, I think like, I think that would be, have you didn't go to Taylor Swift? No, but I didn't. I would have gone. Who do you think you would have more fun at Beyonce? I would assume. I had right? more fun yeah. at Beyonce. I would have more fun. You're that- not. You're not that white. You're not white basic. Like that's not your demo. You're more of you. You serve. I serve and I right. work and I twirl. You serve. You <laughs> work. And twirl. You twirl. Um, I, I, I think the costumes. I mean, Beyonce sure had nice costumes, but these costumes were like high end fashion. It was. It was like you know Loewe and, and Terry McGlair yeah. and and um, out and about premium line. I mean, she was. Yeah, in, she was a lot of that as well. 
So she, yeah. you know, the, the, the fashion was good. The dancing was f- superb. The, the stage sound, the stage and like lights and everything and the art direction, the videos behind it. It was just like, it was very, very well done. Has she lost a step? Like R- Rihanna at the Super Bowl, people won't get mad. She was like clearly slower than she used to be. Like Rihanna had lost a step. Again, I guess I think she was seven months pregnant. Yeah. But was Beyonce the same old, same old bay? Oh yeah, yeah. She was doing, she was doing all of it. I love her. And then and her, her good voice, f- her voice is like, an angel and she's really? just, yeah. I don't know how she does it all. Her wigs were, that's why I texted Dave last night. I yeah. wanted to get a lace front because and I, now I was looking back, the whole vibe of the concert was like the, the looks and things were like all from like my era when Vicky Lake was, was alive. Now I, I had the same exact <laughs> wig as she had on and, and all funny story. My, my, my hair, my friend Rita Hazan does her color. Really? They used to do my wigs. <laughs> <laughs> well, word on the street is that Beyonce actually stole her looks from Ricky Lake. Yeah. I've heard that. Vicky from, Lake. Vicky Lake, excuse me. And I've heard that from many people across, over the years. Mm-hmm. Um, you invented um, the thigh high boot, the thigh high sequin boot. Yeah. You invented that that style lace I, front. A, 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 a slick. Um, yes. Wet, blowout. wet, wet lace front. Silky, blowout. a silky blowout. A, a silky <laughs> a silk blowout. press. Um, I invented the silk press via, via pantyhose, via, via knee high. <laughs> I used to travel with my wig in the knee high so it stayed nice and flat and it's going to get kinks on it. <laughs> and it looked like a snake in the backseat of my, of my uh, Mazda protege. And I used to take her out, release her from the sleeve, and then I'd adorn her in my, in my car. <laughs> it looked like a snake in the back of my house. Yeah, and I would have closed my edges down back then. <laughs> now, would be thieves, they wouldn't, get, they wouldn't enter my car. They thought I had a python. <laughs> Um, Beyonce was good. My uh, my 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 but my budding friendship with um, Silvana is so exciting. We have so much in common. It seems like you guys had fun. It seems like it was a really good group there. I'm good happy group. For There's you. good you know good chicken fingers there at the MetLife Stadium. There are pulled, we had pulled pork. How many did you, pulled pork? We had pulled pork mac and cheese. It was a, it was a, it was a soul food setup, I believe. What was the uh, bathroom sitch? Did you go number two? Um, I didn't go. Have to go I didn't have to go there. There was a bathroom on the bus. Thank God. There was? Yes. You shit on a No, I bus? didn't have to go, but because oh. I didn't have to go because there was a bathroom. I only have to shit if I know there's not a bathroom. Because you get nervous that you won't be able to. Yeah. This is annoying about the dog just standing like he's anxious. How do we calm him down? I think he's <laughs> fine. Should we do manual stimulation? I'm sorry? Meaning? Do you think it's wrong for me to open up packages for people that don't work here anymore? No, I've done it. Okay. Really? I yeah. just, I, it's I, on my whole, desk. It's mine. I'm opening yeah. it. No, it's not, your, it's not, not on your desk. I went and found it. What do you mean? You track, the, the, so you track down someone's mail? No, there's a, the, there's a whole, the mail thing, the whole thing. There's like there's all the these things. Though. There's people that don't work here anymore. Like there's a package for the Mean Girls and they, you know, they, <laughs> they don't work here anymore. So I was like, where are they? Well, she's in the Hamptons and Jordan is. Um, she's on vocal rest, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but like she had nodules. There's a, for, for some people on there that don't work here at the company anymore. So I should take their thing. Do you got anything nice? I didn't open it yet because I wanted to ask the group if I should open up the mail. Is it still considered mail fraud if they don't, if their addressee no. is no longer at this address? Could you go grab it, Sandra? Where is it? Is it on your desk now? No. Oh, it's, it's in that little rack. It's not, I know what's inside. New segment. We open people's mail yeah. without telling them. Oh, thank Who's God. This? This? Oh. This is Trish. You remember? I do. I do. Those were the good old days. I do. Well, I was in Massachusetts. Oh yeah, how'd your thing? You were at a candlelight vigil. I was at a cha- I was at a charity event um, for a friend of mine that had passed. Not to get too morbid, but I will say this: everyone who was there, you, you don't know how these things are going to be. Is going to be like a drinking like fest, where you know, which you hope it is to a degree. Where everyone's having a good time, or is it going to be like an actual well organized like charity thing? It was so well done. There were 144 people golfing. There was auctions. There was a silent auction. Um, everyone was having a good time. I volunteered at the 17th hole. Um, I brought- well, What's her name? I brought- <laughs> <laughs> Her name was Goose. I brought uh, 120 beers and 150 McGillicuddy's nips. And I handed them out to people as they came. It How'd was you fun. keep the beers cold? Huh? How'd you keep the beers cold? I bought them. I actually thought of you. I bought them cold and then I did cooler- Ice, beer, ice, beer. There's nothing ice, worse than yeah. a warm canned cocktail or canned, canned beverage. Well, I mean, Mamita's is pretty good if it's warm or, warm or cold, right? No. Right. Cool. Everything has to be chilled. And it says it on the bottle, serve chilled. What was the first concert you ever went to? Um, I think Lollapalooza. In Chicago? No, before when they used to have it all over the country. Where? This was upstate New York somewhere, I guess. Really? Woodstock 99? Well, I went to Woodstock 99, yeah. You went to Woodstock 99? Yeah. No, you did. 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 You re- You went to Woodstock 99? Of course, 99. it was two years after high school. Oh, right, yeah. It burned down. Yeah. You went it? there? Yeah. Were you, you saw Kid Rock and DMX yes. and all those guys? Were you what? throwing fire? No. I, no. He, he led the, the fucking riots. He left by that point. 
You left by that because it was a shit show. I at the end of the sh- end of the thing. Yeah, end of the day, no water. Of the day. Yeah, that had to have just been your yeah. nightmare. Yeah. 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 Well, Nana doesn't drink water. <laughs> Nana can store her water like a camel in the back. Yeah, I think I went to uh, Papa Roach at the Worcester Palladium. That's kind of cool. That was my first ever. It was okay. What was yours? Leanne Rhymes. Yeah. She Lucky. Came, she came to Shreveport. <laughs> Did well, you- I'm the magical feeling so right. Let it feel <sighs> your heart tonight. You can try. This is going to To resist my kiss. Yeah, her opener play, I remember this, like I'm, I'm like seven years old. Her opener played for like an hour and a half. And I was like, I probably wasn't seven. I was like eight or nine, whatever. And like, I was just tired as fuck by the time she got on. I only saw like three songs. God damn. Yeah. Do you go with Jerry? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Jerry's been sliding in lately. Me and Jerry have rekindled our online relationship. I'm very happy about that. Yeah. She took a break from the, uh, <laughs> DMs and messages, but we're back to me and Jerry. She'll comment on Goose. I'll reply to her something lovely. Do you have to shit right now, dog? Your Did, breath is horrendous, and you just you went you went pooped twice time to, two times today. So he knows you. That's sad that 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 you're his guardian. <laughs> In what sense that he'll never that he'll never have to experience any issues or troubles at all because I provide too much for him. I, mm. I love too hard. You should get a dog. I can't have a dog. Why? I'm not mentally ready for it. What do you mean? Look at how easy he is. You can take goose. He's too big. Part of me wants him to shit on the show just so we can have that. No. So we can have that clip. At the very end, that's fine. Huh? Do you want me to shit? You can. Oh, God. Well, you brought a potty pad? You brought a pad? You Do you brought, have pity pads for him? No. God, no. He's fucking huge. He goes outside. He pissed in the uh, kitchen today at work. He saw that little pole and he walked right up to it. And pssst. <laughs> I had a lovely dinner party yeah. this weekend. Where? Did you see? Well, I was doing. I told you I'd have my caviar. So I had caviar. Um, I, I made like, um, what do you have to say? Um, die. I'll wait. Okay. Well, I had my um. <laughs> I'll wait. I did, I I did my caviar say. classic preparation with my creme fraiche chives and um preparation H and um Pringles. I like I serve with. Then I also had the trout roll, which I made a very fun new take. Is this what you're having to say about? No, I'm not. Why do you think I'm gonna say it? I'm not saying anything. I'm just listening. Um, I did some some uh, grilled bread, some toasted bread with um a soft boiled eggs. Creme fresh trout roe, okay. radish, and cornichons. Who'd you have over? I had over Youngstown Bob. <laughs> I had over. What I wanted to get into. I had. We had over for for caviar. You had over who? My boyfriend. Okay. Leah's family. Aaron's family. Um, my friends, Aaron, Eric, and Aaron. Okay. Um, my friend Tristan and his parents, and that's it. I think. Yep. Candace, Candace Corbin. Youngstown Bob? Youngstown Bob. Who else were you with when you were at, ba- then you went to Bounce Sporting Club. Who else were you with on oh. the Youngstown? This, I don't know. Who else was there? Did you see someone? No, I saw, um, Hot guys? I saw you doing this with the camera. Yo. I went to, I don't know how, I don't know how I ended up at Bounce Sporting Club. I think I called someone That's like. a wild move. Yeah. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> how late were you out? Do you want to know? Can I guess? Is it, mm, this, what night of the week was this? Friday. Okay, this is Friday, and Nana, Nana wasn't here, so it means she had a full night's rest on a Thursday, which means she was probably raring to go. She probably took a. This is the latest I've ever been out in my life. Stop. Yeah. Eight a.m. No. Are you being for real? Yeah. Later than eight a.m. Yes. Ten a.m. Later. Eleven. Later. You didn't sleep. No, I slept. I went. I went to bed at twelve thirty. What? And you went out when? I started going out. At a young age, <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. I mean, I was I was at I was at my I was at Bay's apartment, but like you know, I was like I didn't like like f- start laying down like, and then I was I was like laying down. I, was, I couldn't sleep there because there's like boys were still up and stuff. Well, you were playing so, Warzone. I saw famously. Yeah. That was funny. So I left and I went home to sleep in my bed, and I really didn't get to sleep until like twelve. So I spent I, from that from like one o'clock in the afternoon that day. I didn't sleep. I didn't wake up until like last yesterday before uh, three o'clock to like go to the meeting to go to go to the concert. <laughs> I slept like from. Two days. I slept. You the sleep day. for Joey's up for seventy two hours and sleeps for forty eight. <laughs> no, I was. I saw, I didn't get. I didn't leave the bed. How was old Bobby boy when you guys were out? Who's the Bobby? Time? Youngstown Bob. Oh, he's always the best time. Yeah. Was uh, Colin Cooper out? No, he didn't come out. Were there girls there? Um. Yeah, we met up with some girls later. Sis, or were they spooked? They were sis. Got it. Wait, what did you do between four a.m. and noon? Huh. I wonder. Well. <laughs> Let's take a wild, wild guess here, Mr. Mar- Mr. Well, Marty. Well, we started. <laughs> so it started in the back of a black Honda Civic. Okay. Yeah. It has to sit in the back. It started with a bad decision, 
and a hobble down three flights of stairs. Um, but I had a great, you know, it was a good time. So I had to like rest the rest of the time. So I almost didn't make it to Beyonce because I was so tired. Yeah. But I knew I was actually shot. I actually remember seeing your Instagram story and just being like that. The fact that you're up with a fresh face of makeup on after I know you were up for 24 hours plus, it's really just a testament to the commitment to this the, is in, last the influencer night's, game. This is last night's beat I have on today. Is it? Oh, you didn't take it off? No, but I put fresh contacts in. Did you use your sh- uh, setting spray? Is that why it's so, is that why it's so, so? No, I don't have, I've, I don't know where my setting spray is. I think I gave it away to my producer. Who? Oh, Bella? Bella? Bella's great. She's the best. Bella's you like, really you like my content lately? Yeah, uh, guess what, guess what, guess what I'm having great. this week coming to you. I went to a fabulous restaurant the other night. What is it uh, called? It's a new sushi restaurant. To Cobell? No, a new sushi restaurant by our house. And I documented the entire experience. And um, my boyfriend's going to edit it tonight. And then we're going to put it you out. Is edit? He's, re- he's fabulous. No, he, that's what he should be doing. He should be in this in this field. He's unbelievable. I think it's time. Art direction and like photography and really? everything. He's fabulous. I think it's time you and Marty finally... Disclose your relationship <laughs> <laughs> to the people. It's a, um, I know it's a twist. I know it's a twist for the listeners, but it's uh, it's how it's been. And it's I need hydration. Been. Hold on a second. I'm taking a little break here to add this to my water. Add a little body armor. Add her in. I don't, the- I don't need full strength. I don't need full strength flavor right now, but I need a little bit of something. This is the peach mango. Well, I mean, listen, Out and About is brought to you by Body Armor, and it's not just for athletes. Body Armor has an all-natural, low-calorie, low-sugar hydration option called Body Armor Light. So whether you're looking to stay hydrated with something that tastes great or recovering from a long weekend, Body Armor Light. When do we get this one in light. stock? I need to try that. I have another. When do we get this in stock? I didn't know this is a light one. This only is 35 calories for the whole bottle. And it has zero sugar. Oh, you're not getting, I'm taking both these home. Do we have more? <laughs> yeah, we have more in the kitchen. We have a ton of them. The whole office has body armor. It's real hydration, real ingredients. It's packed with so electrolytes, good. vitamins, nothing artificial. Body armor light has great tasting flavors like peach mango, which Joey's drinking right now. Would that be good in a cocktail? Oh my God. I don't think you need it. Just, just, I'm getting a natural high from this. <laughs> and their newest flavor, dragon fruit berry, which is right. Oh, this is strong. I am, I'll tell you this. I'm a sucker for the regular. These are so right good. Now. They're phenomenal. Uh, artificial so ten percent coconut water. Okay, I love it. Um, well, this is my favorite flavor. It's the strawberry banana. It always has been. You like the peach mango, um, and we absolutely love it. Body Armor is great for us. It's great for you. The whole office drinks it, and it's also available in stores nationwide. Head on over to Body Armor Store on Amazon to the Body Armor Store on Amazon and get yours today. Do you hear about the Skims? The what about woman it? Got shot in Skims, and, it's, and it uh, saved your life. Really? Did you know that Kristen mm. Chenoweth got in a bad accident and her hair extension oh, saved her life? life? Really? But yeah, because it like prevented her fr- her skull from being fractured. It had a cushion <laughs> that didn't let her her skull be cut open. When was this? Years ago. I don't know. She's whole story about it. Oh my god, I love her. Me too. You do? I think she's annoying. That's fair. I'm not going to argue with but you. But I think she's unbelievably talented. She was wonderful in The West Wing. That's right. Do you watch a lot of network TV? Uh, I see a lot of it because my parents do, but no. I feel like network TV has the best shows ever, but you ne- I never think to watch them because it's like you think it's branded towards old people. But I watched Johnny Knoxville's um, prank show with – who's the guy? Eric Andre? Yeah. He, That's the funniest show I've ever seen in my life. Mm-hmm. They I have love pe- him. They have people on and they pitch them pranks. I like, had a crush on him. To Eric Andre? Did you ever see his dick? Eric Andre? Oh, he's all over the internet. He pisses, yeah, he pisses dick, all yeah. the time at his dick out. Marty, can we do the honors, yeah. please? <laughs> can you do the one where he's in the hot tub and do he's- Do the um, one where knows with, specific- with Natasha Leggera. When he's pissing in the hot tub? He's probably uncircumcised, I'm sure. No, he's, no, he's regular. Well, he's like- cut. I mean, he shows his dick all the time. He's got a nice, heavy dick. <laughs> Thevid.com. That's right. I, I, I belong to that. I can sign in. <laughs> Oh my! Zoom on in on that, Marty. Let's get the. Uh... And then he stands up and pisses. I think he's cute. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's about right. I'd say. He quit the show though. What show? With Johnny Knoxville. Why? Because he said that he couldn't take the like pranks between the two of them, like on the show. Really? Like they would like tase each other and shit, and he was just like, "I can't do this anymore." I can't believe he's still doing. Like, doesn't it get old? Like the like living on edge like that. The money doesn't get old, Mama. Yeah, right? No shit. Um, I want to shout out um, Sandra's triple tiered pink cotton candy dress she wore to a wedding this week with a shin Yes, on. You did look nice. You looked pretty. <laughs> Whose wedding was that? She went to her cousin Maggie's wedding and your, was the cousin I like there? What's his name? Who's the cousin you like? Cousin Maggie's brother. And how old is cousin Maggie's brother? 
Zach. He's 28 and he's hot. That's way too old. So what is it? Zef? Zef? You never saw his picture? Z-E-F? He's a, he's a 10. What's his real name? Can you pull him up? <laughs> Zef? <laughs> I don't know how to search for Zach, welcome, Sancho's Welcome to the cousin. show. Today we, just, today we just Google image search people's fucking, um, people's body parts. Did I you figure mind. out what day we're going on tour? I need to know. My father needs to know. So he can take well, we're, gonna, we're looking at um, sometime in October. We're putting together the final stages of Nana and Trisha's fall tour. So that's all we have to say on that. But we're working out a couple kinks and just know it'll be about. Is it kink you? The kink is me. Yeah. <laughs> the kink is, we're working out my personal kinks. Um, it's going to be like five cities. Um, all three days th five cities 24 hours it's going to be all new stuff it's going to be very fun we've had some awesome inspiration coming from our friends Jesse Kirsten from the Girls Gotta Eat Pod Kevin Clancy these people are helping us Jesse Kirsten's not from Girls Gotta Eat Pod yeah I know those those two set Jesse Kirsten comma the Girls Gotta Eat Cod, no. Pod comma uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then Kevin can Clancy I ask also. Can, I would like to get rid of you and have Sass sit there one day by all means, is he available right now? I don't know, <laughs> or maybe God. like vice versa. Like I think I would. I think I'm going to spend more time on camera with Sass and see where that goes. Romantically? No, I have the. I have dating a ten. You're old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you want Sass? What's about Sass? That I don't like? know. I, 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 it seems like an, a, an egg I haven't cracked. Bay actually went to go see him the other night. Really? Yeah. They're are big you... fans. Him and his him and his friends are good big fans of his. They went to go see him. I didn't go. Where? One of the stand up the clubs. Stand? Yeah, no, it wasn't stand up. Well, you better else. get Sass now because he's he's already said his job is going from five days a week to one day a week once this uh, <laughs> once the yak is gone. He doesn't have to come in every day anymore. That's the worst part about daily shows. You have to come in every day. That's what that's what Uncle Big Cat told us before he r r damaged my nerve. What did he say? He said, Joe, you don't want to do a, 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 a yak style show because then you have to come in every day. Yeah, no. I said, not. absolutely not. So maybe we get Sassy in right now. Is the yak on? No, he won't come in. You think if you just like are in a room with him, eventually you'll wear him down and he'll talk to you? No, he talks to me, but it's like, it's, I, just, I, just, I don't know. I'm just, I, think it's, I think it's funny that he's such a successful uh, com comedian, like a stand-up comic, because like in, in, in social situ it's funny regular how, situations, like no, like in <laughs> social situations, he's like, you know, he's a little bit to himself. So I always wonder like what his stand-up is, but like what is it, what's his topics? Like what does he talk about? Yeah. I've never seen any of his work. Well, you should go to a show. I don't think he'd perform it for you here. No, I will go to a show, but I'm just saying- it's I think interesting. It, I think Sass can talk to anyone. I think it's Sass. Sass and Roan have their show, Son of a Boy Dad. Oh, did you see, you might be in the running for um, to compete for Tommy Smokes' affection. Do you see what Patrick Beverly saying how much he loves Tommy Smokes and he wants to be his best friend and Tommy's ready to become his best friend, which is going to leave your ass in the dust? I don't think that'll happen. <laughs> <laughs> um, I also, the awards are coming up very soon. Yes. And I might be, I, I think I may be nominated for something. Really? Well, that's the word around town. And who is? And so these are the Barstool Awards at the House of Blues on August twenty third in Boston. Is that is it open to the public? I doubt it, but I probably will be broadcast. I would imagine on Barstool TV or YouTube, or something. YouTube yeah. or something. But Nan and I are doing the red carpet. We're not going to say what our outfits are, but they're very different. Do you know that we're not going to be together? What are you talking about? We're not going to be standing together. Well, what, what, what do you mean? Like you're going to be in one area, I'll be in another area, and then the girls will be in two others. No, the other girls are those are together. I don't know why they're separating us. Too much power? <laughs> I don't know. Power. They don't want us together? I don't know who told me that. Someone told me that, though. Are you being for real? I saw my mother. That's what they told me. That's why I, that's why I was like, oh, that's our outfits don't have to like not, like coordinate. And she's like, no. I was like, oh, okay. I wonder what we're going to be doing. Throwing, throwing back to the red carpets. Now we're here be with Sarah. Back, yeah. Now, now here to our mega brand. <laughs> <laughs> down, up from challenging to mega. Yeah, it's going to be us and that and uh, the chicks girls. But it's gonna. I think it's going to be fun. There's a bus going. Thank you. A bus. Thank fuck. Here we go. Thank God we are in the show because we're actually like going to be like flown up and like put up. If you're not and you work here, you're going to be going up on a bus if you want to go, which a bus. Well, on a Wednesday, it might not be too bad, but it's leaving here at like noon. But that's to go where? To Boston. Fuck that. On a Wednesday. That's going to be four. That's going to be four plus. Yo, that's going to be four easy. plus hours. No. Easy. No. Nope, we nope, should go out nope. when we're there. We should like do something. Well, we can't. Why? Don't we have a big interview the next day? Here? Yeah. So what do you know anything else about what we're doing? At this no, but show? we have to fly right back the next day for an interview? I f maybe. No, I, I think we know. switched it. Oh, we did switch it. Yeah. We don't know anything else about what we're doing because we have a meeting tomorrow. With Blatman to figure it out. Oh, right. I'm not going to be in that meeting. I'll fill you in. I'll just take all the good things that he was going to do for myself. <laughs> like, you're you're oh, doing please, this. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> 
I'm and be sick what else do I want to say? Oh, what do we also some some scandals? I haven't seen the, the office is dwindling down. I think we lost another another soldier. I think Brianna Chicken Fry doesn't live here anymore. Yeah, well, she's been living in Oklahoma. She came out of the closet. She's dating um, Luke, that, Luke Holmes. Uh, Morgan, I thought it was Morgan, Morgan Wallen. Wallen. Yeah. Alan Jackson. Grace is looking for a new apartment. I saw. I saw it. Brianna's dating Zach Bryan. And so he's been in Oklahoma. So we're a little bit worried about that. So she's been laying in the field with, with a. I saw that with a with, shitty little blow up top. You're a rock star. Get a real pool, brah. No, mm -hmm. I wasn't saying that. I was saying oh, she's been laying in the grass, either. drinking wine and writing in her journal. And it's like looking at the stars, listening to the June bugs. Wouldn't that be nice to do, though, just to kind of take a break from it all? Yeah, I take a break for it all every day. <laughs> <laughs> you, I'm actually on a break right now. Yeah. Yeah, good for her. I don't know when she's going to come back. Does that mean Gracie's going to be, what's Grace's deal? I Third mic on our show? I would love S that. Second mic. Maybe we add in some, maybe we add in another mic here. I was thinking about that to the, to the out and about brand. Who Where do you have Marty? What's another mic instead of Marty? What celebrity, celebrity talk could we add? Ooh. Maybe like, maybe like JVN. Someone black. <laughs> he just ignores it as nemesis. Who would we add in? This plant? I don't know that anyone who would vibe with us. Yeah, I don't know either. It's tough to say. It's tough to say. Sydney Wells vi uh, vibed with us. Oh, our, oh, that's what I'd say. Our fucking episode is so, I've been watching it all weekend. Yeah. I put it on for everyone. It's going to be great. We have- um, our Did you see it, Marty? Uh, I've saw. I've seen the first few minutes of the thing, yeah. Can we watch the first few minutes of the thing? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's check it out. Let's throw our headphones on. Yeah, this headphones. is Barstool Outdoor Sydney Wells. It's our tuna fishing trip. If you're listening in a car uh, or in your headphones, make sure you check this out. It's I'm going out this tomorrow. Here's a sneak. It comes out tomorrow? Yes. It's going to rip. Let's see. You got your headphones? Oh, I can hear. All right. You go get your head now. I can't. I sure can't touch fish. What do you mean? Beautiful. Real, real, real. Hi, fishy. <laughs> I caught a fish. <laughs> that was so intense. Are we fishing? Sure? Your tits look good there. My tits. Never mind. That's Brianna. Are we Is still that, going? Yeah, Is that go. supposed to be us? Go, yeah. What's up, guys? That's I'm supposed Cindy to be Wells, us. This week, I'll be taking Pat and Joey out of the office to Cape Cod into deep waters to catch bluefin tuna. Thank you. But not as people. <laughs> Did Brianna sign off on that <laughs> animation? <laughs> oh, this was worse. We get up at 3.30 a.m. How are we feeling? Uh, that's three. That's the place we left. So not great. Three hundred dollars worth of drugs. We had to flush out the toilet because we got the ocean. <laughs> Couldn't go to the fucking airport with it. Water that is not chlorinated and heated. He refuses to touch fish. He hates the outdoors. We kind of misled him, so this would be like an easy thing. Joey's room is literally right there on there's that corner. Nowhere to be found. Good morning. What's up, guys? Welcome so back to Barcelona Outdoors. It's three forty-five in the morning. I hate that. We have one. I don't okay. want to be spoken to. Good morning. I hate morning people. I'm so tired. Are you tired? Where's Joey? Captain <laughs> Jeff's already like, where are you guys? He is not here in four minutes. We're leaving. Right now. <laughs> you there he is. Is that our car? It's us. Do I look like I'm in drags? Straight boy drags? I have I've, I've wet wipes, extra much wet wipes. It's never too early to serve. But if I have to <laughs> on the bucket. Will you sit with me? Yes. This is shady. Three in the morning. Joey, what do you think of the seats? Shut up. There's Captain Jeff. There's Joey with the waters. Hey, hey what's going on, Joey? Well, well, we really, really had no idea what we were going to do. But it was so dark up, out. What yeah, ended up happening long. was about three hours of a trip to hell, 60 miles off the coast, in literally 10 degree below weather. It was fucking freezing. So make sure you guys check that out on Barcelona Outdoors. We'll post clips on our shit. Two, um, it's gonna be good. Summer is winding down. Thank God. Thank God, we're ready for the fall. Have you got your stuff out of storage yet, Joe? No, not yet. I'm not gonna be decorating for fall this year. Why? Because I'm gonna be moving it. <gasps> I have to move on Halloween. Do you really? Yeah. You're moving on Halloween? Yes, yeah, so I guess so I'm not taking my Halloween decorations with me. I'm not because I'm not gonna decorate my my packed up apartment. So oh I won't God. be. I'll be decorating for thanksgiving but i'm just gonna probably i'm just gonna go straight to christmas when i even do thanksgiving at my new house i'm really excited to see your new apartment i think it's well, gonna be very well put together well of course it will but i don't know where i don't how far uh, we're like <coughs> oh. why should i die <laughs> <laughs> um 
You know how far uptown you're going to have to go? No, I don't know like um, how far I'll be in the process of, of getting, getting things it done. Ready. It's, oh, it's going to be work in progress for years. Well, I need to get crown molding installed. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get wainscoting. <laughs> I need to get my sconces changed. Now, now I ordered... <laughs> I ordered a sofa from Potato Barn <laughs> 16 months ago, but no, I'm kidding. I have, to, I, have to, I, have to, I have to see the space so I know what the vision is. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, I can't just like, I'm not, I, I don't want like, it's like something ultra modern. I'm not going to like try to just like, it's my old worldy, like columns and old Rococo, columns Rococo and things that I wanted. I think, but we'll see. Your ideal, co- you're like a, maybe you're like a Tudor fish, a Tudor home. I, I went and looked at an apartment this weekend. Where? Just in my neighborhood, I was this yeah. building. Um, Nine thousand dollars. Oh, too much. It was a two bedroom though. I, I wasn't looking. Oh, well, for- well, you might be. You could be potentially splitting the rent. No, I'm not moving into a two bedroom apartment. Oh, mm. I don't need one. Well, but if your if your significant other moves in, that could help subsidize. Why would Why would we need a two bedroom? We sleep in the same have, bed. Oh, you have like an office. <laughs> you have like an office. You have a studio. Make Maybe a studio, then you never have to leave the house. So you never have to come in here again. Build the podcast studio. And then you'd come to my house? Yeah. We should each build a studio that we don't have to come in anymore. Then we could do it remote and it wouldn't sound like garbage. Oh, how great <laughs> <Yeah. that be? laughs> Why they sound like garbage here? Sometimes when it's just your computer microphone. Oh, yeah. Computer microphones yeah, yeah, yeah. are trash. Are you guys going to come out to Long Island? You're what do you mean computer microphone? The 19th? Wait, what weekend is it? No, or any weekend. Not th- We're not doing the big thing anymore. So any weekend. Come oh. Are doing your party anymore? We're just going to do like a smaller thing. We're going to like oh. go out on the boat and have fun. You guys should come. My brother's in town the next two weekends, but after that, I should be free. Your brother as well? He's in town as well. <laughs> 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 they're both actually coming in together. It's actually, it's crazy. So they're actually switching off days. So um, what else can I say? Yes. Yeah, so summer's winding down. I'm so excited. Now I will start, I will be starting my fall class. Um, no, my fall candle recommendations. Oh God. Now, you know, last year, how I, Got a little crazy. You? With the candle sale. The Bed Bath & Beyond candle sale. And I only- I they're, only out of, they're out of business now. That's not going to happen, right? No, not Bed Bath Bed, I'm sorry. Bath & Body Works. Oh, yeah, yeah. Isn't that the same thing? No. They're different? Yeah. Oh. One's owned by- Can you check Goose's Limited, Pulse, please? The Limited Brands owns- Like Limited 2? Limited 2, Express. Bad. All those Abercrombie, companies. Abercrombie. No, Spencer's th- Gifts. I don't think they're under there. No, no, no. Newberry Comics. Oh my god! I have to tell someone something. I found some. Oh, I can't talk about tea. Talk about it. <sighs> no, talk about the tea. I can't. The tea. Joey got tea at the thing, and it was tea that people know. Tea about someone who works here. Something very, very scandalous. But you don't want to say. No. I think you can. Uh, you can no, say. Stop. Say can it it stop it. Can you tell me and I'll cut it. No, I'm a microphone, a camera in front of my face. Oh, I'm just curious. I, I, I promise to cut it. Well, <laughs> back in the eighties. Content. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll tell you after. Yeah. Um, what's my next topic? I want to talk about? Oh, fall. So, fall. <laughs> fall. <laughs> I'm gonna, I also need some suggestions. I need. To, I'm going to do a fall getaway. November. I mean, I'm just going to move there. Maybe I shouldn't be going away if I just. I was going to say, start, pump the brakes. You're moving, but you're trying to save money, but you're doing a fall getaway. Kill the fall getaway. Take that money, put it into your apartment. Yeah. Oh. Dif- it's difficult to do because I know you're accustomed to doing that. But I think you'll be happy if you take that money. Do you ever buy anything on Facebook Marketplace? No, but people do. Have all, you? People do all the time. Is it easy to do? Yes. I want to start going with a lot of furniture on there. There's so many because when people, so, so when you move, this is a very smart thing. Yeah. Anyone who knows in New York City, if, when you move, you will give away your fucking firstborn just to get it out of the house and not yep. have to throw it out or pay for it to be removed or schlep it or schlep okay. it. Yeah. People will pay like the, um, uh, people throw away the most insane things because they don't want to deal with it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, so that's why it's Facebook Marketplace. On, like, things are lightly used. Like you can get a beautiful like TV stand that's like a year old from Pottery Barn for like a hundred dollars. It's ins- you should honestly do that. I mean, I wouldn't put anything from Pottery Barn in my home, but oh. you know what I mean. Pottery um, potato pottery. potato barn. Potato I would barn. <laughs> not Pottery Barn. You don't like Pottery Barn? You no, like I West do. Elm? It's a little too. T- no, West Elm is the worst one. It's a little too cataloged. My cat, my couch is West Elm, but West Elm is the most like. It's too catalog based. There's no. I like CB2. I'm a CB2 gal. You're a CB2 gal. Through and through. What else are you? CB2 design within reach. Designing women. Designing women. No, I like CB2. Um, I do a lot of. Um, and I'll be moving as well. Oh, good. The same month. Upper East Side. What month? I have to wait till we'll see where you live first. 
so I can move in next door to you. Maybe I will move up to the Upper East Side, get a big old place. You should. No, I don't know. We're not, we just, we're extending. We're month to month, but I think we're going to stay. I, I went to the most amusing sushi restaurant on the Upper East Side. Sugarfish? Hiramasa, which is actually a yellowtail amberjack fish, but the name of the restaurant is called Hiramasa NYC, and it's up on Madison Avenue and like um, 93rd Street. It is so chic, and it's, it's a very cute boutique style thing. Um, we had the omakase. Um, Was it as good as the Toro we ate on the deck? Much better. My, my sushi chef told me my sushi chef that to, it needs to sit to a fresh to fresh tour like that needs to sit for like at least 10 days to like to like to relax and like the muscles got to relax and like so us eating it 35 minutes after we yanked it from the ocean club it in the head is trash <laughs> yeah well that's good you went out to eat like are you gonna cut back on your going out to you know what i'm most excited about for you in all honesty my is sexual your, is your sectional is you're such you like to cook so much and you do a lot with a little bit of space. If you can have more space to cook, like you could actually just think out, about the weight stuff I'm allowed to have now. No, you can put out fucking like cooking content from. That's why I want that. Thing. That's why I want the right kitchen. Um, and then and the more he cooks, the more he brings in. We can imagine just come. So imagine came to my house. Do you think I'll have Steph in my house now that I have a larger place? Do I? Th I know you will have. You're gonna have cleaning ladies there while you won't have to leave the house. With the Wait, are, when, are you gonna? Have a, when, oh my god! When someone else answers the door and I'm, yeah. I'm not ready, I'm like, oh, she'll be down. She'll be down. <laughs> <laughs> this show is sponsored by BetterHelp. We've been talking to you guys about it since we started the show. It's something we have here at Barstool Sports. It's something that's helped Joey. It's something that's helped me, and it's something that's definitely helped our mental health and clarity. Because no matter what we're faced in with life, we're always gonna have tough, tough choices, and the path forward isn't clear that's where better help comes in to help you yes i've been liking better help for many moons now everyone knows this and yes. it's helped me kind of get, take my day-to-day -day life and just live it more authentically and just be able to kind of get through things if something throws life throws something at me i know how to handle it and you know d d like do, what's it called dismantle it yes. and get get to a place where it's not going to affect my my mental health um and it's, it's about skill drills with me and le learning techniques to kind of like to learn from my therapist um and trusting yourself to make decisions that align with your values is like anything. You practice, the more you practice it, the easier it gets. That's right. So what is all this? BetterHelp is customized online therapy. It's affordable. It's convenient. It's flexible. And it's suited to fit your schedule. And if you're thinking of trying therapy, give BetterHelp a try. You are going to be very happy. It's much easier to use. It's much more user-friendly than traditional therapy where you go through insurance, through a doctor's office. It takes forever. No, no, no. You use BetterHelp. You get matched in less than 24 hours. All you got to do is fill out a brief questionnaire. And you get matched, matched with, I think this is important to say, a licensed therapists. They are all licensed. And if you don't like them, you can switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Let therapy be your map with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash out and about today and get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P.com slash out and about for 10% off your first month. BetterHelp. Oh, Zach got a fucking cleaning lady while I was gone. Well, thank God. No, thank God. They folded... This one I was afraid of. They folded, they took our whole closet apart and put it all back together, but they mixed all of our stuff. Oh, fuck So that. we have to do it again. Guess how much, how much your clean ladies cost? I pay, they come twice a week. <laughs> oh, twice a oh, week? Oh, no, no, sorry, twice a month. <laughs> oh my God. They come every two weeks. Like what, it's like 150 bucks? I well, give them three. I have their three ladies, so, so I give them 200 each. Yeah. No, 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 200 for the total for uh, like for every two weeks they know they got to get in there with a power washer <laughs> part of it goes to gas because they got to get they got to rent a u-haul what how much did you pay washer. 260 yeah. but it was the first time yeah the first time it was more because that's the lay, lay of the land yeah and organize she, it the way they see fit she was scrubbing baseboards just one lady came yeah oh my god yeah we do 150 typically you get one too uh like every like three months or so when it three gets months up. that's oh. not even worth it I feel like you got to do, do it mean? like at least every other week to keep it, to keep up with it. Cause then it's like, you can just throw, well, they probably are you can throw your McDonald's yeah. wrappers on the floor. You can what? No, you don't do that. I know you don't do that. <laughs> Imagine you don't throw your things. That's a, I feel like no one outside. Uh, I feel like that's a very New York thing to have a cleaning lady come. Like I would never even dream of it, but since we have this little scumbag laying down there, stinking up the whole place, we have to do it. Is he asleep right now? I'm talking about goose. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we should make mittens out of him. Do you want him? Couldn't I take him tonight? You can have him tonight. He won't be scared? No, he won't be scared. He he trusts Titi. But where's, where's Zach? He, trusts his, he knows his abuela. Where's Zach? <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to get a towel and rub it down with my scent. To yeah. Him. And I'll have to get, I'll get an alarm clock and put that in the crate with him because it reminds me of the mother's hair heartbeat. <laughs> <laughs> put this on. 
<laughs> this is what I, this is when I work in the kitchen. <laughs> we get it on there. There. Let me see. <laughs> Beans or rice. <laughs> I'm not doing double. Beans or rice. Pick one. <laughs> it looks like a hairnet. That's the funniest thing I did all day. <laughs> Does this fit good? Yeah, I like it. I think Beyonce wore something similar last night at the concert. <laughs> Every Thank week. you, Miss Carter. Oh, how cute. Yeah, we're, you could have, I bet Goose would be okay with you. He sleeps in a crate. I think we're going to keep a, a crate. A crate? Like forever he has a crate. He I wouldn't sleep on my bed? Should I ask oh, Bay no, if he, we're not going to undo it. We can I ask Bay a lot of money over? to send him away. Yeah, you can ask. You'd have to ask Zach. <gasps> Hold on. Can I actually ask you a real favor right now? Did he? Joey's standing up right now taking a picture of Mr. Goose. Right. And, uh, during the show? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's in front of the camera. Wait, Joe, do you want, do you want to, are you here this weekend? Can you watch him this weekend while I go to a wedding? No, I'm not here this weekend. Yes, you are. I'm not. Where are you? I'm going, me and Silves are going um, to Durian, Durias for the famous Dur- lobster salad. Yes, good. And then we're going to our friend, Jama owns, um, the uh, surf lodge. So we're going to go see if my friend Jama over there. Nice. Then what? Um, I don't know. Then we're probably going to take a seaplane out to <sighs> our Shocker other Island. home, to sh- no, our other home in Nantucket and see what that looks like. Shop for bedding. I think, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I think you would be fine. I think it would be okay if you actually became friends with her for you to be at D's house. I don't think D would mind. I, we run, we've run in a very sm- similar circle so it's like you guys do can he sleep over tonight you're asking if he wants to you have to take the, if you take him tonight you have to take him this by the way if anyone in New York wants to watch Goose I'm going to a wedding this weekend <laughs> <laughs> who's wedding he's all yours Patrick and Pat remember them why didn't I get invited I've met them once you can come you give me my plus one you, Zach's not going no I I'm, I assume I would also have a plus one as a plus one I was a named guest which means I should get a plus one you wouldn't go. It's an old Saybrook. Where's that? Connecticut. It's very nice. I think there's going to be a lot of like repressed sexuality there. His father is like a judge in Connecticut. Like they're very. Do they know like, he's gay? Yeah. Well, they're at his wedding. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know if one of them's dressing up in yags. <laughs> one of them dresses up in geese. <sighs> Who would wear the dress if it was you and Zach getting married? Who would be the woman? Zach. Unf- I was going to say, unfortunately, that would probably be me. You'd be the lady? Look at these legs. You're not going to let these things go to waste. Imagine this in a heel. Imagine this in a kitten heel. <laughs> Extending. <laughs> I thought it would be What very- would you look be? <laughs> <laughs> would it be like old? Would you, you would look like the old I woman would- on the side of the plane. That they, 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 old, you would look like an old colonial woman. <laughs> I would be fucking gorgeous. Shut the fuck up. Do you know the, I would have the body would be sitting. <laughs> I'd be snatched to the gods with a, with a, with a your with makeup would be you would have flawless. on you would have on a I would look like Nene Leakes you would have on you would have on like a a silk trunk pant yeah where you can just barely see the the front of the heel poking out of the bottom needle thin six inch in no I would look like like either Beyonce or, or um or what's your Beyonce name? Beyonce or Shout out, I love New York or um who did I say Nene Leakes I think I would look, I'd, I'd, the body would be sitting. And you'd be in full blackface. Yeah, <laughs> well, that's, lots of bronzer on it, blonde hair. <laughs> I make it married, just do it. You remember what in Nashville? What you said? Uh, if me and Haley get married, you wanted to do? No, you want? Uh, oh, yeah, you wanted to be the flower girl. Oh right, right, yeah. Except you, you would walk that fucking yeah, yeah. walk that fucking duck, girl. walk that fucking duck. Um, I thought it would be funny if I had. I'm wearing like to the welcome like drinks the first night. I went out, I got nice linen pants, like a nice blue Oxford, like linen shirt. Are you being serious like, for this or for their friend's wedding? For the, fr- for the welcome drinks. And then I thought it would be really funny if instead of like, that's why I asked where you got your Taft shoes from. Mm-hmm. Like instead of like a woven light brown shoe, I just wore a, I wore a heel, but I never address it the entire time I'm there. So I just walk around in a beautiful heel. But I don't know if you thought that would be a good idea or not. No, I don't think we take away from the bride. Yeah. Maybe I wear a white dress. You can't wear white to the wedding. I'm not. Well, I'm wearing white pants to the welcome dra- welcoming. There's no bride. They're two men. Right. You would be. A- <laughs> right, Is that yeah. still taboo to wear white, any type of white? Yeah. Well, I've been spotting too, so I don't want to wear white. Yeah. Are you going to wear a full back panty? I'm sorry? Are you going to wear a full back panty? Of course. I mean, 
like I said, I have a heavy flow, which means <laughs> I am not going to explain. What have you been watching on TV? I watched, I was just finishing, I just finished the first season of The Bear. I was watching on the second one. I was, I was inconsolably crying. I heard it was shit. I was crying. Did Bear. you watch it? No, I can't do it because that whole show is just them at work being angry at each other. And like, it just does not <laughs> yeah. relax well, it, me it, at all. It, it, you live it every day. <laughs> it, got better, it got better. I actually, for the first season of the last episode, I was hysterical crying. And then season two started. And apparently this gets even more emotional, but I'm actually into it now. Really? Yeah. It's on HBO? Um, no, yeah. it's Hulu. Hulu, maybe Hulu? one of them. Yeah. Oh, I watched that show about the gay serial killer. Did I tell you about I tried yeah, to start watching it. Oh my God. You have I, to watch I started it. watching it, but then I fell asleep. I'm telling you, worth it, worth it, worth it. Really worth. I'll watch it tonight. And there was a good one too. It's, <laughs> it's, it's not funny. Is the killer hot? Um, no, I haven't seen the killer yet. I mean, the idea of being kind of you know is bound it a true story? That is hot. What? It's true story. Oh yeah, it's real. It's real. It's real, Mama. <laughs> Snapchat, Steve. <laughs> oh. Take me. He, he can murder that pussy. He can murder that pussy. No, it's been good. I also watched um, a show for all the massholes out there on HBO Max about the shacks on Chatham and the way that they're biting people. And this, that is pretty good. But well, stay out of their house. That's the whole thing. So they're trying to figure out if they're going to club all these seals to death because there's 15,000 seals there. And What's wrong with the seals? The seals bring the fucking sharks. And now, like, they started. All right, let me let me give you a quick rundown here of the ecosystem on Cape Cod, Massachusetts. President Nixon, back in the day, signed the National Mammal. You can take, Joe, you can take a nap. <laughs> he signed the National Mammal Protection Act, whatever it is, which basically protected all these species. One of these species was the sea lion and seal, like that goes to Cape Cod. So basically, these are overpopulated. They bring all the sharks in. The seals eat all the fish. So it's fucking everything up. So all the local townies are trying to kill the seals. But it's illegal to keep the sharks away because some guy died in 2018. The shark fucking bit him in half. 26-year-old kid at Beachcomber Beach, which is what Joey and I went or oh, Joe, I yes. wanted to bring Joey to. But um, anyway, if you're into that, watch that. Now this. Sylves. Sylves just texted you. Yeah. Joey. I'm sorry to break it to you this way. <laughs> Stop. Can I read your your things? Did you t- did you mention her to me? Be honest. Did I mention who? You? Is it me to Sills? No. Why? Why would I mention you? Because I said I want to be friends with you. Her too. You're afraid that I would swoop in? Oh no, I'm not Mama. I got, <laughs> I got her under under I got her right where I want her. <laughs> I have her under my spell. Yeah. She's Ursula right now. Yeah. Now she will break the spell. Imagine she lost her voice because I'm like, like, hey, she has to like sign or like type. <laughs> Your voice. You have, oh, I watched that, The Little Mermaid with Melissa McCarthy over the weekend. Where? You can buy it on Apple or on iTunes, iMovie, whatever, on Apple TV. Yeah. Fucking incredible. You didn't care the girl was black? No. Uh, no. no I, didn't. <laughs> I didn't care. It was because Ursula stole the show. She was so fucking good. I bet. Highly, highly, highly recommended. Poor unfortunate yeah. souls. <laughs> My dear. Um, so stop. I am so happy to, that was such happy times last night. Cannot wait to see you again. You text her at 1 45 AM. Well, I got home. Oh, this is the best. Then I texted her solidifying the friendship, trying to get it in writing. Yeah. She goes, she goes, I'm so happy. I told her I'd be talking about her today. I'm so happy we became friends tonight. Thank God you were with me. I cannot wait to hang out again. And of course meet. Stop. And of course meet Brody. You are the best. Now Brody's D's dog. It's Savannah's dog that she rescued in college from a highway. You're kidding. Yes. So you think Brody and Goosey would be friends? I think so. They're both they're both high flutin dogs. Oh, that's so cute. Now, now Nana did ride Brody so that he'd get that invite. Well, no, we love Brody's very sweet. I've seen Brody on Instagram. He looks like the what a best cutie dog. Stop. And he's just so so docile and so nice. What's docile like mean? Docile is like just very gentle and like calm. me. After a pill. Do you know what I'm craving right now? Cock. Oh, can I can I give myself a pat on the back? I, yep, sure. Looks like I got us over 1.4 million on my little Caesar salad rant. What's that? We're the only one. Oh, million. the ultimate girl. Yes, that was our biggest TikTok to date. Was it? I think so. Yes. It was. No, no, no. we've had we've had big ones. Of over millions. That's oh, yeah. fucking huge, where though. the fucking Jeffrey Star ones were huge. The, <laughs> We've had plenty of hits, Jeff. <laughs> well, I think this was the biggest. Because I don't know how to. Our TikToks do very well, but I think 1.4 is huge. I think you should be proud of yourself for that. Girl dinner, girl, hot girl dinner. What's hot girl dessert? Should we recreate? 
I mean, dessert. It's I'm gonna just tee you, I'm going to tee you up and then you go. Oh, oh my God. I have the ultimate hot girl dessert. You know what it is. I don't know what it is. I know, but I know. I think. I think desserts is. I think girls just all love desserts. I think all desserts are hot girl desserts. Every dessert, every sweet, every every type of sweet. Yeah, you can't let narrow that down. Okay, well that won't work for a TikTok, but we definitely no. tried. I, I I don't know what you, what is a hot girl dessert to you. Bussy. Everything. Yeah, girls love dessert. Is that true? It's a known thing. Yeah. Do hot ones love dessert? Yeah. I think everyone loves dessert. I don't I'm like, not really too big into sweets. No, I don't like sweets. I'd rather have more chips. I don't like cake. I don't like chocolate cake. I don't like brownies. You don't like brown? Wait, or do you just prefer other things? I don't like brownies, and I don't like chocolate cake. I like f- heavy fudgy things. I don't like oh, batter. Butter mousse, bread pudding. Bread do you want to make your bread pudding? Bread pudding. A savory bread pudding. pudding. What's a good southern? What's a good southern? That's the one Banana I think of. Pecan pie. Shoe flat pie. What's it called? Shoe flat pie. <laughs> what's that? Do you know shoe fly pie? Shoe flat so. pie. What? What is shoe fly Google shoe fly pie? It's the sweetest pie. Flies all fly around. You have to chew them away. Shoe, shoe. What's the what's the uh, like sugar pie? Square pie? What's it called? You know what I'm talking about? Shoe fly Dice pie. pie. Sugar shoe fly pie with banana pecans. Look, shoe fly pie right there. What's the ingredients here? Shoe fly pie is in molasses. Pie heavy on the molasses. <laughs> oh, <stop. laughs> molasses associated with the Pennsylvania Dutch cuisine, of course. Of the shoe fly pie. Oh, that looks. Oh, oh, you know what I was thinking of? Chess pie. I don't know what that is. Chess is that a meat pie? It's like it's pure. Did you say meat pie? Meat pie, mince meat pie. What's a meat pie? Mince meat pie. You know what that is? Mince meat pie. It's a savory meat pie with it's, actual. Oh, meat. I love meat pies. It's like sugar, sugar and meat together. <laughs> oh, I bet you do. Sister. I bet you do. The bearded ones. <laughs> Shoe fly pie, hair pie. But then the peak. Oh, I'm gonna order a Polynesian pearl. I'm so excited to order. What is in a Polynesian pearl? A Polynesian pearl. What's in it? Can you look up Polynesian pearl, Marty? I'm sorry, we keep going. We should get the key- we should get the keywords. We don't have to keep harassing yeah, Marty. Yeah, The Polynesian pearl is the most southern drink there is. It's about twelve different kinds of spiced rum, and I've been drinking it with the judge this weekend at the welcome drinks in my lid. In. Okay. Oh, the Polynesian pearl ingredients. That's uh, how it's. That's how it's served. Yeah, a Polynesian pearl is a delicious. Delicacy. It doesn't look southern. It looks like it's from the fucking Caribbean. Well, sugar cane originated. This is jewelry. Nah. <sighs> Polynesian pearl drink ingredients. Maybe we have that. Okay, here okay. we go. Polynesian pearl, pearl diver. Joey, read it out in a good accent for me. Okay. One and a quarter ounces Puerto Rican rum. <laughs> okay. Half ounce Durham's rum. That's right. Half ounce Jamaican rum. Now you're getting tipsy. One bar spoon velvet for, for, for linum. Okay. One ounce orange juice. Now that's fresh squeeze. Three quarter ounce lime juice. Three fourth ounce pearl drive mix. See, what the hell is a pearl driver mix? That's, we have to see the editor's notes. Well, Six we'll ounce crushed ice. What is in the pearl driver's mix? This is. And you add it to a blender, you mix on high until the consistency is uniform. You're going to pour it into a tiki mug or a coconut shell that you can have from one of the local trees, and you garnish it with an orchid. So this is the, this is the this is the mix you have to mix with it. A mix one ounce of sweet butter, one ounce honey, teaspoon simple syrup, a dash of cinnamon, half of vanilla syrup, and a teaspoon of allspice. That's a lot of ingredients. And refrigerate it overnight for an airtight container. Imagine I asked for this at like a high speed bar. Yeah. <laughs> Just one pound of perfectly no ball and chain. It's been a rough day at work. That seems like a nightmare. To it sounds make. like a nightmare to prepare, but that, that all that sounds, sounds pretty damn good. Great. Though. Yeah. Should I make this Polynesian pearl and bring it in? I would, yeah. be, I would be Should we make Polynesian that. pearls for Friday's episode? Oh, no. Should we offer them to the Jersey Shore Girls this Friday? <laughs> what's what's in this? Well, how long do you have, missus? Um, I can make I can make this. Now, I will have to get an orchid. I was going to say, we're right in the flower. We're not lucky for us. We are in the flower district. I can just that. God, I'm going to get addicted to doing that voice again. I really am. Polynesian pearl. I can't believe you've never heard of it. It's seven different kinds of rum. What's another, like, really complex drink that, like... I could oh. order to really fuck up the bartender this weekend. I don't know. A, a Long Island iced tea? No, that's not that complex. And any major uh, any speed pe- bar. Any piece of any shit. Any speed will bar will have it. Iced tea. That is my favorite cocktail, I think. Not just like to drink, but like it's so funny that they were just like, let's just like pour all this shit yeah. in here until it yeah, tastes yeah, kind of yeah. like And tea. you watch them make it and you yeah. panic. Yeah. And you drink it and it's delicious. Well, I love tea cocktails. You see right here, I have one today. This is my, I made, I that? jazzed it up. You did? It's peach mango cocktail. Oh, God damn. That body on my light. Well, as long as the sun is in the sky. 
What's on your shirt, Eminem? You NASCAR queen. When's Alex Bennett come back? I miss her. I haven't seen. She just her, her intern just texted me. They want. She wants me to cut her hair. Goose is waking up. Oh, he's good. He should. I think I want to do coffee. monthly salon um, days, but like I don't want to do it because everyone's gonna. I'm gonna get. I know people will do it, but I need to find a, wa- a reason why to do it. I know because everyone's always asking me for haircuts. But I think if I schedule one day to get everyone done, but how would, would I benefit from it? Can I? You would take do it money. As, for, ask for money. No, you do it. You get everyone in one day, and then you put them into different TikToks, and you just. Schedule yeah. out. Make a show out of it. Make a show. <laughs> Make a show out of it. It's kind of what we do here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then you're good. Oh, you want a free haircut? Come down. You got unlimited yeah, let's customers. Do that. Pop, That's pop, a good pop, idea. Pop, pop, pop. Do you want to go home, Pearl? Good morning. Oh. Big, big stretch. Go say hi to Tia. You see to my house today? Okay, come. Go say hi to you Tia. You see to my house tonight? <gasps> yeah. You see my bed with me? Do you say hi to a boy? You jump up on the bed or I have to pick him up? Well, he can jump. He's very good at He's very good at jumping, but he knows not to do it because he learned not to do it while he was a boot camp. This is my voice one week on tea. <laughs> this is my voice one week on tea. You're my tea. This is my voice. Look how that's, this is the definition of docile right now. Hi, my PB. You really do love him, huh? Yeah. He's named after the animal goose because she's white like a goose. He did so many poopies today. Imagine if he just went like vicious, like latched onto my neck. <laughs> I would laugh. <laughs> I can't uh, believe he got bit last uh, week. We have to get him out of here. We do. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and wrap her up on this show. This has been really fun. I had a good time too. This has been great. Let's see something. Okay. Um on Friday's show, we have Sammy Sweetheart. We have Snooky Snooky Nicole Paluzzi and J Wow and her two new titties from Dr. Teller are coming on to the Out and About podcast. We're gonna be going um into a fancy room. Oh, do you know we can we can have it in the fancy room? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because um they're gonna We're be good. with the girls beforehand in that room. I've got it taken care of. You got it. Yep. Um it's gonna be fun. Oh, we have the whole we have all the girls. Oh, all of them? Not just four? I think not we just have all. three? I think just three. Oh, really? I think so. Well, anyways, the Jersey Shore Girls will be here Friday. Check that out. Thank you, everyone, for listening. Make sure you spread the word of Out and About, and we will see you guys on Friday. Thank you, Goose.